So, anyone remember these Lego NBA minifigures? Um, the funny thing about these is, uh, well, for me, for me having these in my collection, uh, is I had zero and still have zero interest in the NBA. Some of you uh, watching this might be fans and would recognize all these uh, athletes. The only two I know uh, is Kobe and Shaq. Um, if Jordan was here, I would I would have recognized Jordan, but he's not. I don't know if they made Jordan. Uh, anyway. Um, so I'm just sharing this as a little, kind of little look at another piece of my Lego minifigures collection. I actually collected these, uh, back when they were, when they were out. Um, now having zero interest in the NBA, why did I collect these? Um, at the time, we hadn't gotten many, um, of the flesh colored minifigures. Um you know, based on real life people or actors, you know. Um, and even though the, the bodies weren't, weren't traditional minifigure bodies, you can see uh, basically the head and upper torso are traditional, but the arms were different because they were, they were, they were made to, to hold the basketballs and then they've got these springy legs. Um, I pretty much was getting them for the heads to possibly use in future projects because for so many years I was always delusional. A lot of the stuff I got was to use in future projects, which I would end up never getting to. Um, but I thought, you know, all these flesh color heads and... and hey, my, <laughs> I don't know if it's still politically correct to say minorities, people of color, um, you know, add some diversity. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what I possibly had in mind, but you know, they were they were flesh colored heads of, you know, of black dudes, and a few lighter skin black dudes and maybe some of them aren't black dudes again i wouldn't know i don't know these athletes um but yeah so that's why i got them i'm just sharing for any of those who might actually be interested in these uh, it sounds really horrible for me to if you're actually into these and for me to say how much i was not actually interested in in them as nba uh athletes and minifigures but i thought it was pretty cool what they were doing at the time you know it was new now at this point, you know, what decade? Over a couple decades, maybe by now. Later, how much um, you know we've gotten of licensed properties and and minifigs based on on real people uh, or characters, but characters that are based on the likenesses of their actors and actresses. You know, especially largely in like. Um, Star Wars, Marvel and DC movies, and Harry Potter, for example, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I don't know if they've done much sports stuff since, or at least, you know, based on real life uh, sports athletes. I've always, I know they did, um, I think they did a little bit of skiing and snowboarding. I don't know if it was based on actual, like, athletes. I always wish like they would do some sort of X Games type stuff or wrestling. Although, honestly, favoring, yeah, if you're a, a Lego purist or a diehard Lego fan, fan, um, might not like to hear the fact that I prefer Mega Blocks or these days Mega Constructs over Lego. Um, and man, I would love to have like some Mega Blocks, um, WWE figures. Those would be cool. Um, so yeah, anyway. Just sharing those for anyone interested. Still kind of cool. 
Um, I don't know how good the the Lego likenesses are on these guys compared to their real life counterparts. Because again, we don't really know. But there you guys have it. As always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching.